Hi friends, I am going to show you something very simple and inexpensive. Most likely you have most of the items at home and it would make for a great housewarming gift or a hostess gift this time of year. So let's get started. Our ingredients for this project are going to be, you're gonna want some floral wire. You're going to want either burlap, you could use a canvas drop cloth piece. You don't need very much. Uh, you could use a piece of fabric that you may have laying around. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to wire pine cones. I have another piece of, this is just a heavy duty aluminum wire. I will show you how we're going to make a candy cane. I cut some branches from our tree. This one, I planned on doing this video yesterday and I actually laid this probably too close to a heat register so this one's a little dry but we'll get the gist of it and spray adhesive you may or may not need so let's get started and you'll want your aluminum cans <laughs> so I've gone ahead and peeled the label off of this but just a aluminum can we had corn last night so <laughs> um, all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my can and see what size I need. So I'm just going to cut a strip here. See if I can make a straight cut, give or take. And this is just a burlap ribbon. So like I said, a canvas drop cloth or a different kind of burlap would work just as great and since I have spray adhesive well, that was perfect I'm going to go ahead and put a little spray adhesive on my can and if it's not clogged up then wrap my can in this burlap ribbon I'm gonna just run a little bead of hot glue right there on the end as well. Now you can, it, it's held liquid, so you can totally just use, you're gonna put water in there, or if you wanna do an artificial one, you can put styrofoam and use artificial greens. All right, but I'm not, I'm going to just Pretend there is water in there and go ahead and arrange some greens in there. And when you're arranging your greens in water or Oasis foam, you'll want to strip this part down that is in the water. The Oasis foam would help it stand and be a little bit more secure in there. But how darling is this? And the, the fragrance of the fresh evergreens is delightful. My pine got a little dried out. Now, if you have some red berries or anything like that, you can totally add in the red berries. I'm 
And you're just gonna fill it up till it looks to your desired taste. So this is just a cute little centerpiece that anybody would love to have this holiday season. All right, I'm gonna show you how to wire a pine cone. So here, I just have a piece of floral wire and I am going to wrap it into the bottom of those pine cones. They're a little prickly bring it around to the, so, and then I just twist it. So I've divided the wire in half and you don't see the wire in there at all. Now you can add that with some floral tape to an end of your, a stem from your greenery. Let me grab my floral tape. So I'm just going to wrap this down to give it a little extra security. And get my floral tape started. I'm gonna start at the top and wrap it around. And then when you use floral tape, you're going to pull down and twist. Pull down and twist. Pull down and twist. And we're going to just insert your little pine cone right in there. All right, so let's do another one. So again, we're just wrapping it into the bottom part of that pine cone. Divided the wire in half, bring it around and Give it a little twisty tie. We'll use one of our stems from our greenery. We're gonna wrap it onto our stem like so. Floral tape it on, just Pull it down, twist, pull it, twist, pull it, twist, pull it, twist. Doesn't have to be pretty, you're just wanting to secure it on there. And then you can adjust your height of your pine cone and arrange it into your greens. Is that not darling? Great little gift. And it costs very little. Now you can add if you want to make it more elaborate, you can grab some picks from the dollar store or Hobby Lobby, your local craft store. You can always add in cinnamon sticks to give it that fun texture and additional scent. I need to grab some red berries. I have just some icicle or oh. Crystal stems, faux crystal stems, icicle stems. And I'm adding some red berries into it. Don't need a whole lot. And couple of cinnamon sticks. And then that just super cute. Only used your vegetable can and greens from your yard. Very little expense in here and it's just lovely. If you wanna add, kind of dress up your can, you can run a ribbon around it and just do a little dab of glue so we'll just dab a little bit of hot glue there wow that came out fast 
we'll pull it tight. I have enough glue there, I think, that will secure it. This would be cute to add a little button. I think I might actually have a snowflake. I'm going to add, if you wanna take your can up another level. This is all, this is arranged all the way around, so I don't know that you have a front or a back. You can, you can add whatever you'd like. Just dress it up. It's so stinking cute. But how is that? Oh, it's so cute. What a great hostess gift. I said I was gonna show you how to make something with this aluminum wire. So this wire is so thick, you can bend it to however you'd like. So let's make a candy cane. Or it could be a shepherd's cane. And you can just cut that with your wire cutters. And we're gonna give it a little dab of glue. I just grabbed this ribbon at Walmart. And we're gonna just, I'm gonna wrap that. I'm going to encase the end of the wire. And then I'm just going to start twisting. Give that a little dab of glue. Pull it tight. And secure. Maybe that would be cute on the front instead of the snowflake on the snowflake. Or you can include it up here in your arrangement. So that's how you can make little candy canes to put in other things or in here. How cute is that? Let me make it longer. 